カモネギマ。ちょっとゲーミー、but the fatness, especially with the tart and s a s h o Hmm. During the New Year. Hey, Yaki Gang, Yaki Kitty Guy here. If you've been following along on social media, I drove from California all the way to Florida to see my parents and spend the holidays here with my family. This is my last video of 2020. Whether you joined when the channel started in April or recently just landed here, thank you guys so much for being part of the Yaki Gang community. Today, I wanted to show you guys a negima using this kamo duck breast. In Japanese tradition, for New Year's, everyone eats soba. It's called Toshiko soba, which literally means crossing over to the New Year soba noodles. As soba is soft and easy to bite, it symbolizes cutting off that last year and letting go of the past and moving forward onto the New Year. And kamo just happens to be a really tasty topping, especially on hot soba, called kamo soba or kamo nanban soba or kamo negi soba, as the toppings are usually just duck breast and negi onions. Also, kamonegi just happens to be a Japanese proverb where if you find a duck walking around in the wild carrying negi on its back, it's very convenient. It's so convenient that you can just take that duck and negi, take it home, put it into your nabe pot, and you can have a nice duck kamonegi hot pot at home. And in terms of convenience, when I started this channel, it was really about how I wanted to make it very easy and convenient. For anyone watching this channel to make really good yakitori at home, especially during this stay at home year. Thank you to all the yaki gang who has liked, commented, and even subscribed to my channel. And an extra thank you and shout out to the yaki gang who have donated chickens on my coffee site. You guys have made it very meaningful for me to work on this channel, especially during this time where all of us were facing constant changes and challenges. So, thank you guys so much. I hope. I made the videos very convenient for you guys. Alright, l so let's take this and this and combine them and make some kamo negima and get ready for the new year. Let's go ahead and cut the negi into roughly about three centimeters. It's the same thing that you would do with any other chicken negima. And we're only gonna use basically these bottom crunchy parts. This one we can discard for soup or something like that later. Next, we're gonna remove the skin right here. Take your finger, thumbs in, and just Put apart. Alright, so we'll put the skin on the side and we'll take the breast. Now, the most common way I've seen yakitori shops use kamo is we cutting it in sort of blocks or cubes. However, I'm g o i n g to be cutting them basically into strips, and this is the rolling method that I want to do. This is what Chef Kono New York showed me his chicken breast rolling technique, and this is what I want to use for this duck breast. So I'm just g o i n g to cut it long ways. This is similar to what you guys saw in that chicken video. It's the same way, it's thin. Use the whole length of your knife. It looks about maybe five millimeters width. Imagine if you're cutting. This to make sashimi right here. So let's get some of these bigger pieces on top. This skin, I want to cut into two centimeter strips. And then they actually are pretty long when you stretch them out and cut them in half. All right, let's get to skewering so we can use these teppogushi, the rifle paddle skewers, or these round skewers. Either of these skewers will work for this kamo negi. So I'm taking a skewer and putting it in the negi, and I'm going to roll this up like so. Take a piece of skin over it, cover it up, and that's where I'm going to poke right through the skin, the rolled up meat, push it through. Same thing again, roll it up, put the skin over. Grab a piece of negi, put it through, poke through the skin, and the meat in the skin. Another piece of negi, do a thicker green one. Take a piece of the duck, roll it. I always go down on the cutting board and poke it out. So, negi, kamo wrapped in the skin, negi, so kamo negi ma right here. Go ahead and make these other ones. Negi, all the way to the bottom. Take this, roll it, through, take another negi, through, take negi, roll it, poke through the meat here. And let's do one more.
Alright, so the grill is hot. It's gonna salt both sides. Some sake down there. So as you guys know, basically yakitori means grilled chicken or grilled bird. Tori is bird and in the sense of kamo, kamo is duck, so it's technically still yakitori. Now you're not going to find it at every yakitori shop, but kamo is still pretty popular and you will find it at shop menus here and there. All right, so just going to cook up the sides a bit, since they need a little help. Let's go ahead and do the other side. One last spray of sake. and. If you guys have a torch handy, it always adds that sort of extra char. So with that torch, you can add that little extra char on all sides. So for the garnishing, I'm going to be using the tare, so dipping the negima into the tare. I'm also going to top it off with some powdered sansho. Sansho is Japanese peppercorns, similar to Szechuan peppercorns where it has that mouth or tongue nummy feeling, but it's also very floral and it's commonly used as a topping on let's say maybe soba or unagi eel with tare on it. Just gives it a nice sort of floral taste and you commonly will also find sansho at yakitori shops as well so I'm gonna be using the sansho today. All right let's get these dipped into the tare back on the grill. Drip back onto the grill. Get hot on both sides. Then let's get these plated. And then some sansho. Kamo negima. All right, Yaki Gang, thank you guys for joining in in 2020. I feel very accomplished and starting this channel out, creating these videos so that you guys can learn and practice and make really good yakitori at home. And definitely feel proud of you guys, seeing a lot of your progress. You guys are hashtagging Yaki Gang on Instagram, seeing all that, seeing your progress. Keep it up. I'm gonna keep up basically trying to make more videos, get better at cooking yakitori, get better at filming and editing so that you guys can continue to watch this channel. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys really like what I'm doing, donate some chickens. It really just helps me out continue this process and keep on going. So thanks again for everyone for this 2020. I look forward to seeing you guys in 2021. All right, see you guys next year. Bye guys. And we have this extra piece. Always do something with the extras. Extra bonus.